Once again welcome back to Earth actually, we are always digging deep to bring the truth to light. The damn truth is hard to find, and it also hurts to hear or admit most times, but today, Earth actually has debunked the hard truth. I said we debunked it, the hardest and most coded truth about our origin and creation. Whatever religions, governments, or any institution had been teaching our generation, are nothing more than just hair-brained education to fool and make us feel inferior. One love Earth actually, I'm in the game, you're my special debunker. NASA is about to announce evidence of alien life says Anonymous, here's the entire truth. Recently, the hackers network Anonymous, made headlines and grabbed viewers' attention as they claimed that NASA is on the verge to announce evidence of alien life. Isn't this statement way too bold and scary to handle? Are you guys excited or scared? Wait a minute please, let us break this news now that the Anonymous does not have any proper new evidence to break this extraordinary news. Apparently, there is a latest video wherein Thomas Zerbuchen, at a US government heard back in April said that, the announcement centers around a Kepler Space Telescope's latest discovery, of 219 new planet candidates outside our solar system, as well as comments made by Associate Administrator of NASA's Science Mission Directorate. Taking into account all the different activities, and missions that are specifically searching for evidence of alien life, we are on the verge of making one of the most profound and unprecedented discoveries in history, said Zerbuchen during his recent congressional hearing in the Committee on Advances in the Search for Life on April 26. Well, Zerbuchen was quite excited about the Kepler's announcement which he made last week and tweeted saying, wow, 219 potential new planets. Data at NASA Kepler shows us that most stars are home to at least one planet, are we alone, Zerbuchen asked. The TRAPPIST-1 system is just 39 light years away, and its discovery tells us that there is plenty of planet-making material in our little corner of the solar system, indicating that finding Earth-like planets may actually be closer to us than we originally thought. Future study of this planetary system could reveal conditions suitable for life, said Zerbuchen at the hearing back in April. This video was published by the group of hackers that posted this viral video overnight and claimed NASA scientists made the announcement at their last meeting of the US Science Space and Technology Committee. NASA says aliens are coming, the group wrote on their website and within no time, the video went viral all over the social media. In the video published on their social media page, the anonymous group claimed that the head of NASA's Science Mission Directorate Professor Thomas Zerbuchen said in the meeting, our civilization is on the verge of discovering evidence of alien life in the cosmos. Taking into account all of the different activities and missions that are searching for alien life, we are on the verge of making one of the most profound, unprecedented discoveries in history. Well, the 12-minute long video suggested that the aliens are coming. The video within its four days of publication had almost 800,000 views, but the link to the hacking collective is not verified yet. In the video, we can see UFO sightings as evidence to their comments, and they look scary. This carefully measured catalog, is the foundation for directly answering one of the astronomy's most compelling questions, how many Earth-like planets are there within our galaxy, said Kepler research scientist Susan Thompson. NASA's recent advances, such as the discovery of hydrogen in Saturn's moon Enceladus and the Hubble team's promising results from the oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa, are promising signs that we're closer than ever to discovering evidence of alien life, Professor Thomas Zerbuchen, Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate, told the hearing. Like you all know, we are here to debunk the truth, we had to do some additional research on this subject, and here is what we found. Hey, thanks so much, Felicia. See, here on Earth, there's a number of things that help life. There's water in a liquid form. We have an atmosphere, we have a magnetic field that protects us from the hazards of space. There's many things we have going for ourselves. So the question whether there's life out there relates to questions that we're making progress with all the time and questions uh, that we have, new questions that are coming forward. We don't know yet whether there's life out there, but 
right now we're making a lot of progress, especially in the outer solar system. So this is exactly what today's stories are all about. With this research, we're making a big step forward towards answering the question, is there life out there? So of course you know that we need water, and here we are at Ocean Worlds, so we have the water. We need chemical elements that can make the building blocks that go into making cells and provide uh, molecules for metabolism. We need carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur, which are down in the lower left of the triangle. And here we get to check off another box. We have found energy to support life. Hydrogen gas provides that energy. Now all we need is to see if Enceladus had enough time or any of the other systems in the Saturnian or Jovian worlds had enough time to evolve life and have life make its imprint on its ocean. So now we have a, a, another observation that kind of connects the worlds and is related. Uh, I'm going to tell you about this. Europa is one of the four major moons of Jupiter. It's about the same size as our own moon, uh, but it looks very different. It's got a smooth, bright, white surface covered in these dark cracks and red patches. The reason for that, and what makes Europa so incredibly interesting, uh, is that it's thought to be engulfed by a global ocean under a thick crust of ice. In fact, it's got twice as much ocean as planet Earth. If we have a salty ocean in contact with a rocky core and energy from a variety of sources, as we just heard from Mary, we have many of the ingredients thought to be necessary for life. <clears throat> Your observations from Hubble, what are you now seeing that's important to our understanding of habitability on Europa? In 2014, we used the Hubble and uh, detected evidence of what are probably water vapor plumes emerging from the surface of Europa. That's important because it could be giving us access to subsurface liquid water without having to drill through miles of ice. In 2016, the new observations that we're just publishing, we saw a similar candidate, almost identical in appearance and at the identical location to one of the 2040 candidates. It's very important uh, in an intermittent phenomenon to establish repeatability. It gives us a lot more faith in the observation. The other thing it allows us to do, given the position of Europa, uh, given the position of the candidate on Europa, uh, is to look with more fidelity at that position and see what else we can find there. If we just look at a map of Europa, uh, we don't see anything particularly remarkable about the exact location of the plume candidate shown by the green ellipse. Uh, but if we look back to the Galileo data, uh, Galileo in the 1990s published a thermal image. And right at the peak of the thermal image, uh, that's where the plume candidate is. Uh, this uh, hot spot on the surface of Europa, on the Europa night side, uh, was identified at the time as a thermal anomaly. And it's sitting right on top uh, of, of the position of our plume candidate. Do you think this news is true or fake? Leave us your opinion in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. We publish interesting articles regularly and subscribing will keep you updated once we publish a video. Hey, special thanks for being a part of this great generation. One love keeps us together as one.